What's up, YouTube? Hey, I just thought I'd do a brief overview of the uh, 4510 versus the 13. It uh, looks like the 4510 rigid table saw has been discontinued. Uh, there was little to no information, so I thought I'd just uh, I guess share what I found. So, uh, first, if uh, Rigid ever watches this, they applied a big, huge label on here with some uh, really sticky crap. It took me about 15, 20 minutes to get that off, so uh, they should look at some lighter glue. Overall, the saw is completely awesome. A uh, couple of changes I noticed on the tabletop up here. Uh, these are square versus round. Also, it looks like this extra hole is missing. I'm kind of glad to see that uh, this will open up. You don't have this extra hole to worry about. Uh, looks like I saw a review online that the tools are not interchangeable. I did try a couple of uh, miters inside this. It looks like they'll fit from other tools, but uh, also the owner's manual looks like it does have about 5,000 RPMs versus the 4400. Other than that, uh, I guess one little tip I'd give anybody buying this thing, the instructions are pretty lousy putting this together. You've got two different spacers here. Let's see if I can get it a little better on that. The big ones go here down below, and then there's a couple small ones that go, uh, yeah, you can go see it. The small ones go here and here, and the little ones are down below. Um, the picture sucked in kind of showing how to do that. It's just one exploded drawing. They only labeled one of the spacers down here, and uh, they labeled one up top. But other than that, it was pretty easy. Just had to take it apart two or three times to figure that out because the uh, if you put the big ones up here, the saw is too far up. It won't it won't sit here. It won't house with this curve. So that was it. Piece of cake. Good product. I'm way happy with it. Um, Going to be building some workbenches and stuff today. But uh, there you go. Leave any comments down below, and if you have any questions, I'll try to answer it or I'll ignore them if I don't know the answer. Cheers.